5th of September to the 2nd of October. Apple. September 5th to October 2nd is the Om month of the apple. It is a symbol of the other world and marks the beginning of the end of the harvest and the yearly cycle. The native crab apple tree is most often seen in woodlands and hedgerows, which can be planted in a native woodland mix. Under Breton law, it was known as a noble of the wood and you'd pay a heavy fine if you cut one down. A tree steeped in mythology with many practical uses. It would have been an important source of food and used to make cider. Nowadays, we are most used to orchards where the native crab apple might be used as a pollinator, but rarely makes it to our tables. Here today, we are speaking to Gordon and Sharon from Wild Irish Foragers to see how they have kept tradition and show us how the crab apple can still be used today. Uh, my name is Gordon Green and our business is the Wild Irish Foragers. Uh, we live here in Clonless, Shinron, Borough County, Offaly, and uh, this is a crab apple tree on our farm um, in a ring fort down here in the townland of Boultree. I'm fourth generation, my kids now are the fifth generation here. We've been here since 1884. And yeah, it's always been farmed as a small, small farm, but of course, now we just have, we just have beef cattle, you know, and, um, and we pick the stuff from the trees and the hedges and make, and make our preserves and sauces and jellies and stuff. We started foraging in, in, I think it was 2014. We start 2013, 2014 when we started the business. Um, just by accident, really, completely. My, my, one of my daughters asked her mother what a rose hip was. Didn't know what it was, saw it grown in a hedgerow. So she picked a bunch of them and she went home and made some rose hip syrup. And the kids loved it. And, um, and then Sharon made, the following year she made some more, but she made too much. So she didn't know how she was going to get rid of it. So she took it to the local farmer's market and she sold out the first day. So she thought, might be onto something here. So with that, it's just grown. And now we have, what, 27 different products just picked from the wilds around us, you know. Well, it's like it was an old ring fort. And it's, like I said, there's, um, you're very conscious that people lived here at one time. And this is sort of, I suppose, it's in the quiet times, there's a rock that they would have used here because it's full of holes. I'd say they must have used it for, for grinding or something. There's also a perfect seat on it. Um, so you just get the feeling it's a very spiritual place, you know. And I think this kind of, it's kind of an inspiring tree. To like sort of keep going no matter what life throws at you, just keep going. And that's what the tree seems to be doing, you know. There was a bit more here last year, just of this, like, and that's, but the cattle were here and they were scratching it and they broke that bit. Um, I tend to just leave it to its own devices and whatever happens to it happens. There is new life coming out of it here, which I'm encouraged by, but whether this will all fall away and that'll stay, I don't know, but, but it's, it's a hell of a tree for producing, like a, nearly year on year, it just, especially in May, it's just the bloom when you, just, you smell of it and the bloom, it's just fabulous, you know. But I'm amazed at how much it produces, like for a tree that's in such, seems to be in such poor state, you know. Well, the crab apples are, they're, they're a big part of our business. Like the, we make about 10 different products from the crab apple, like all the jellies and the fruit cheeses and that are made from crab apples. And I think people underestimate how important trees are in, to all of us. Like, I mean, they provide us with, and have done for, for thousands of years, they provide us with shelter and heat, tools, housing, I mean, everything. I mean, we, we don't give, give trees enough credit. We don't 
think of them for what they really do. And if done in a sensible, sustainable way, they can provide heat, you know, for, for a long time and, and shelter and fresh air, you know, which is, I think, we should just put more thought into what trees actually give us. Food, fruit, nuts, you know, peaches, apples, everything. That's it's everything that we need to live, basically. <laughs>